All right, fellow Vikings, welcome back. This time, we're gonna train goats. So, how am I able to walk a goat like that, especially a buck? It's not hard, it's really not. Um, it starts when a goat is really young, right? So, first day of their life, go out there, pick them up, hold them, pet on them. Doesn't matter if it's a buck or a doe, doesn't matter if you're gonna eat it or not, right? It's gonna make your life so much better. Literally, just go up, pick that, that baby kid up, you know, pet on them, love on them. We, uh, we try to do it about, uh, at first, about 30 minutes a day, right? 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening, every single day. And whenever whenever you come up, you always bring uh, like a little bit of scratch with you. Like if you're gonna feed the chickens, just give them a handful of scratch all across all of your goats. Um, bring some grain for them or anything like that. So they associate you with positive uh, interactions, right? Yeah, as you can see, we have a couple goats out. Well, actually, almost all of our goats are out. But it, it starts when they're kids, all right? Uh, it, it's, it's really, really simple. You just love on them a whole big bunch, and they're going to see you as a uh, positive force in their life, right? I'm glad you can't see that because my goat is peeing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it, it's it's... So the more positivity you put out into the universe, the more it seems to come back to you, right? And when we first got a lot of these goats, they weren't socialized much at all. And um, especially the adult ones, like that one over there, the one that's right here, you, you see every now and then walking. Yeah, like right there, that little that girl right there. Uh, they weren't socialized much. Their owners uh, got some of them uh, secondhand, so they weren't socialized before they got them. Um, and then they also have like standard American jobs, you know, not everyone can spend the time with the animals that they need. Uh, that's completely understandable. That's not a knock on anyone, but if you're able to get out there in the morning and just love on your animals, you know, and, uh, in the afternoon, love on them again, that's really going to make a world of difference. But the ultimate question is how do you train them to walk on a leash, right? It's pretty simple. When you first start training them, all right? Hey, Sol, come here. Come here. Come here. She associates my hands with food. So she's going to come up to me and all that. All right? Come here. Come here. What? You take her foot, you grab their foot like this. I don't know if you can see me. Wrap around their ankle a couple times, or around their, their arm a couple times, and then when you walk with them, they'll pull that foot up, right? It's gonna make them go off balance. And what that'll do is that will make it so that they're going to follow you no matter where you're at, right? They're gonna walk with you, they're gonna follow you along and all that, because it's gonna continually put them off balance if they go any other direction, right? And uh, what, while you're walking them and all that, take some feet with you. Uh, if you bring feed with you, they're more apt to go to where you want to go because, hey, your food, right? You got you got food with you. I like that food. Um, but it's real simple. Just wrap their ankle or wrap it around their arm, right, so that you don't really have to pull much on it at all, and they're going to want to follow you. <laughs> um, it doesn't put them in any pain. It's no discomfort, right? It's just it looks like we're going over here now, you know? She keeps on wrapping herself up around there because she wants me to play with her. And if you hear up there, her kid's up on the hill uh, crying because she's not used to being away from mama like this. But that separation is another big uh, issue, right? When you have kids and you're going to keep their, keep them and all that in, in, in the same herd, right? You need to separate them throughout the day as much as possible. So it breaks that, that those bonds down just a little bit so you're able to put them in different areas without too much noise. And we're going through that process with a couple of them right now, right? Where they're getting more independent 
and just like with kids, right? We, we uh, the, the whole goal of raising children is to get them to be independent and on their own, right? Uh, functional members of society. Same thing with goats though, right? If you want them to be functional members of a herd, you need to separate them out uh, inside of their, like break away their family groups a little bit, uh, keep them separated as much as possible. You bring them back in at night and let the whole herd love together, you know? Uh, and yes, I said love together on purpose, right? That was not a mistake because love is the biggest, uh, the biggest thing that, that they can have in their life. You know, they don't have uh, TVs and distractions like we do, you know? The, the, the most, the most uh, beneficial gift you can give them is a sense of community, a sense of love, um, going over there and just loving on them as much as possible, right? It's literally this simple. Like, the, the hardest part is wrapping their leg and getting them to walk with you the first few times. That's the hardest part of it, right? What if you go in there and scoop them up when they're real young, like a day old, literally the first, like, uh, with our younger goats, the first couple minutes of their life, they were just pushed out, right? Mama just cleaned them off, we wipe them down with the towel, right? And we uh, hold them close. We take them away from their parents, right? And we go into the house, we love on them and all that for about 30 minutes after they've already had their colostrum, right? After they've had their first milk, right? Then after you get them nice and warm and dry and comfortable and all that, you bring them back over to their mom, like, here you go. Right? And you, you do that for multiple reasons. First, it creates a bond with you as, as their caretaker, right? And it creates a, uh, a, a normality for them to be able to be taken away, right? And brought back, right? It also uh, allows for you to warm them up, make sure that, that if they need any kind of medical care or anything, that you can provide that at that point. And it really like sets up the future that, that they're gonna have, you know? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say. Like, again, keynotes, right? Lots of love, right? And associate positivity, right? Those are the two big things right there. Lots of love, and associate positivity. If you uh, continue that all throughout their life, right? Spending time with them, loving on them, it doesn't matter how crazy that goat is, right? You could have a, uh, a buck, that is Buck Wild, right? He's out there running, wanting to jump on stuff. Actually, my friends have a buck like this, right? And uh, I was able to calm him down a little bit, but I mean, it wasn't as if I had every single day nonstop with him, right? The more time you have with an animal, right? The better that that animal will end up being, right? The better your life will end up being because you guys work together symbiotically, you know? You want a, a, a state of homeostasis. Right now, this girl right here is telling me that she needs to get milked, and this is a decently length length limited video. Um, if you guys have any other tips on goats, go ahead and drop them down below. Um, you know what? Monday's video, I'm going to talk about the cost to feed these guys. All right? Uh, as we know, animals aren't free. All right. If you want to see that video. Uh, Put it down below that you want me to comment that. Um, yeah, no, I didn't make this video until after, like, the video came out this morning. A whole bunch of you uh, said that you guys wanted me to do a video on the goats. So, here you go. Training goats, pretty simple. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want me to do a video on um, the cost of raising goats uh, for sustain uh, sustainability, for uh, food, milk, whatever, right? Um, it's pretty simple math, and I'll go through that in the next video if you comment down below that that's what you want to see. Anyways, that's it for this time, you guys, and I'll see you later. Have a good day. Get home. Get home. Get home. Get home.